Good morning from PCR FM. OK, I went inside Queensgate over the weekend. It was the Christmas light switch on on Saturday for Queensgate and I had to have a catch up with Dave from Unity, from up the garden bath inside Queensgate. They've got lots to share, lots of news to share. And they were celebrating a big anniversary. That, that is the bell of gratitude. I'm inside Unity in the Queensgate shopping centre. We're with Dave now. There's a bunch of things to catch up on since we last spoke, Dave. You've just celebrated an anniversary. Yes, it's our first year anniversary, so we have now completed one year here in Queensgate. What an amazing year, Kev. Um, So far, in the last year, we have managed to generate £400,000 for small local businesses. £400,000! Ring the bell again! £400,000! Amazing! And listen, happy anniversary. I was here when you opened a year ago. Yes, you were. I was cutting the ribbon. You were. Just launching this concept, all of these small businesses that make up Unity and make Unity what it is. So that one year anniversary you celebrated on on Saturday yep. um, and that figure of £400,000, I, I kind of want to ask you, well, what's next? What's the next year or two or three going to look like? Are you staying here? Well, we'd like to use this to announce something momentous for up the garden bar. Queensgate are so enamoured with what we've done and the amount of impact we're having positively on Pira. We have just signed a three-year extension to stay here in Queensgate. Fantastic. So that three-year extension then, despite the fact, of course, it's fantastic news that you can stay in Queensgate and provide this space for so many small businesses to thrive and, and sell... What are the challenges for you to to commit to three years? There must be some. A lot. Um, We agreed this before the most recent budget. And in the most recent budget, they changed the business rates relief from 75% down to 40%. It could have been worse. It could have been zero. Now, we have been working with Peterborough City Council for the last year, trying to convince them that we are charitable enough to get uh, business rates relief. Um, we've been deemed not suitable, so it looks like we're going to have to pick up the whole of the business rates bill now, and that is thirty grand in itself. So we hadn't budgeted on that, we hadn't planned on that. So thank you, Labour, for that most recent budget. It is what it is. We can't walk away from this. We are you're committed here. We are committed. So you've got to face up to the challenges, Correct. the bills that come in yep. by operating yep. this business. Yep. So how are you going to? fundraise i guess so that you can offset some of those things what we've decided to do is launch a crowdfunder and it's not aimed at joe blogs it is more geared towards corporate organizations to businesses businesses Big in businesses, essence yeah we're willing to give them some advertising space and at the end of the day we're here in queensgate half a million people walk in and out of queensgate yearly so we are in a very great location also, I've got one of the most visible vans in the city. I can't hide. I've tried. Um, so, yeah, we want local businesses to support not just us, Kev, because when you support Up the Garden Bar, you're supporting Up the Garden Bar, yes. You're also helping 50 local businesses. You're also helping to put on free crafting activities for children. And during the summer, we've done 3,000 children in 50 days so and they would come in here they would sit in unity they would draw they would craft they would create they would have their imaginations opened up to all things like you know zero waste for instance i'm looking at a poster about zero waste and i I know what up the garden bath stands for the whole message of recycling upscaling stuff is crucial to our children's future so having the the, the kids in here doing that through the summer what business isn't want to going to want to align themselves with that ethos i I agree um we've already signed up a few um who you got am i allowed to say all right okay um bsh recycling uh used to be known as born skip hire we've got jpb signs who do all our signs for us as well um a company called playford who are based in huntingdon but we have 30 spots available yeah so i think a reward-based crowdfunder it's not a begging bowl. It's not just giving you money. It's not a begging bowl. No, it's let's no, work no, together. No, 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 can't do that. Yeah. Um, we're also looking to launch a loyalty scheme for our loyal legion of uh, Unity fans. That'll give them some discount back when they purchase in the shop. We're going to be here for three years. Yeah, another three years. And who knows after that? So let's start putting some roots down. We can now plan for the future. The last year, we've pretty much been looking over our shoulder just in case any other retailer wanted our unit. But... 
that's gone now. We've got yeah. three years security. This we is can your build. space we can for build. at least we the next build. three years. Okay. What about staffing this place? It's a huge area. How are you getting on staff-wise? We have a lot of volunteers that help us out. Uh, we also have our core basis of staff. As part of the crowdfunder, that will allow us to start recruiting more Great. and creating opportunities. The way of the world, everything is fueled by money. Yeah, we're a CIC. It means we can apply for funding, but that world is so overprescribed. There's 26,000 CICs out there at the moment. Yeah, and they're all applying for the same pots. And you can put in for some funding and wait three months to find you haven't got it. I can't run a business like that. But with Unity and the impact we're having on Peterborough and Cambridgeshire, I can run a business. So the only way is forward and the only way is up. The only way is <laughs> Unity. Uh, David, it's lovely to catch up. So just in summary, you've just celebrated your one, one year anniversary on Saturday. Congratulations Thank on you. that. £400,000 in sales. Incredible. The shop itself going from strength to strength. The crowdfunder that's been launched for businesses to come and support you come and align themselves with you anything else that we could mention before we say thank you and see you soon any other up the garden bath messages well 2025 is going to be a mental one for us we've recently had planning approved for a seven and a half acre community garden as part of the east of england showground redevelopment yeah and that's going to allow us to create a free space where people can come visit us learn about agricultural techniques get involved with the outdoor world so that is all tied into that crowdfunder as well like i said we we weren't that keen on crowdfunders, but I think we've done it where we're giving something back and we're not just asking for people's money. So, yeah, the only way is forward. Great to see you, Dave. Shout out to Kez and shout out to all of the staff here at Up The Garden Bath, Unity in Queensgate! Small businesses are just making some laughs. So Frankie Cousin gave them up the garden bar.